Hey everybody, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. Uh, I wanted to show you something. These are my pigeon pea trees. Now, as you can tell, we got a frost and it killed it. All right, there is really nothing left. And I know from experience that it will not grow back. So when you grow the pigeon peas, there's two advantages. One is the peas themselves, which come in these little pods, which are easily popped open like so and you get your peas all right now i will tell you that this amount of peas which is i don't know about a cup and a half or so came off of this tree over here but all of that came off of this tree here so and that's about the average size for a tree that i've been able to get here in uh in my my food forest but I don't really grow them for the peas because I mean obviously that's just not a huge amount of peas I mean though they're they are edible they do have a nice uh, um, quantity of protein in them uh, and there's a lot of different um, uh, recipes that you can use pigeon peas for but I primarily grow them because they put um, nitrogen back in the soil just like any other legume or any other pea pod type tree so that's really what I grow them for I'll come back and I'll chop that off this will get chopped down and put on my banana tree to rot down, uh, but it actually helps to put uh, nitrogen in the soil. And that's why I grow my pigeon peas. All right, so I just want to talk to you about the pigeon peas. They will not come back from this, but I will use these to grow more. So I'll have another 12, 15 trees or so. Now I have um, one, two, three, four, five, probably six more of these trees this size and i don't know about five or six smaller ones all right that's how i grow my pigeon peas oh and one other thing i want to talk about so if you look over here let me just stay where you're at if you look over here these pods really don't want to open up i mean they're very hard to open well not very hard but i mean you got to squeeze them to get them to pop open and i've never seen them just open up and have the peas drop to the ground so they won't self-seed um, at least I have not seen them self seed so far um, so you have to seed them yourself which you can do you can just toss a few out there maybe they'll grow maybe they won't um, but either way what I'll do is I'll take them and I'll plant them up I'll take a 12 uh, a 12 pot tray and I'll get 12 of them started and I'll put them back out in the in the garden again all right that's what I got to tell you about uh, just my pigeon peas and how it's going so far this year uh, I highly recommend growing them you can get the peas but most importantly it adds nitrogen to your soil and increases the life in your soil. Thanks once again for stopping by. Do me a favor, like and subscribe and let me know what you think. And most importantly, grow something.